As you guys can see, today's weather forecast, it is sunny as hell. Therefore, I am not going outside today because it is hot as hell. When it is hot as hell, it is humid as hell. When it is humid as hell, I get sticky. And I'm not about that life. Yo, 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 what's good, our squad? Welcome back. We finally hit 1K. We hit it before the end of the month. The end of the month is actually in like three or four days, which is great. That's way earlier. Well, not way earlier, but it's four days earlier than I expected to get to a thousand, which is good. It shows that you guys are active. It shows that you guys listen to me when I tell you guys to subscribe and give a thumbs up to the channel. So thank you guys so much. We did hit 1K. I mean, like I would be so much more excited, but I already hit 1K twice already. And I mean, it's not as exciting anymore. I really just want to get the channel back to where it was. I mean, I'm still kind of excited because I know that from 1K, it makes it a lot easier. It makes me look a lot more credible to other people. So hopefully that'll make them subscribe. Who knows? But now the goal, let's see, let's set another goal for the end of this month. I think by the end of this month, if this channel starts going the way I want it to, and if it goes fast enough, I think by the end of August, or by the time I even get to FSU, if it really grows that fast, I'm sure we could hit 5K because we hit 5K in a matter of a month as well right after i hit a thousand the first time i hit a thousand on the old art sneakers channel you guys are definitely not here to hear me talk about my goals you guys are here because i got the info i know how to get yeezys for retail i've gotten the majority of my yeezys for retail and today you guys will know how i mean i tell you guys all the time it's honestly the same exact thing but i know a lot of you guys sleep and a lot of you guys are scared to spend the money but i'm gonna tell you guys the tricks today all in one video just so there's no more confusion. So I don't know if you guys can see, but I have one, two, three, four, five pairs of V2s all for retail. And then I have three V1s or version one, just regular 350s, whatever you guys wanna call them. I got those for resale. I actually basically got one for retail, which was the Pirate Blacks because I sold my Turtle Doves at first to get those. And I basically got them even not at prices. And I did sell my turtle doves before for like 850 and that hurt so much because now I know they're going for like bands. I mean, I, I messed out. I should have waited a little bit longer to sell them and then get my pirate blacks. And oh, I, I really miss those turtle doves, guys. If you guys have turtle doves for a glow price, let me know. Hit me down in the comments down below. DM me. Do what you got to do. Size 8 because size 7 fits too small. So the first time I ever got a Yeezy for retail was the first release ever, which was the turtle doves. Like I said, I got those for retail, but unfortunately I was not able to get my size. I was only able to get a size 10 or 11, and then I sold that pair to get my size. And then I sold those turtle doves to get the Pirate Blacks, which was stupid. But yes, I got them for retail. I went to the Adidas site, and the way it worked at first, there was no splash page. All you had to do was go to Adidas.com, type in Yeezy in the search bar, and it came up, or Adidas.com forward slash Yeezy. And then it came up, and you had to hope your website didn't crash. And that's why after that, all the releases had a splash page. And ever since then, I have not been able to succeed. But I know a lot of people have succeeded through the splash page. It's just a matter of luck. If you have a bot, obviously it helps a lot more. But if you don't have a bot and you don't want to invest that money on it and you just want to get it as easy as possible, try the splash page. Always try it and try it on all the devices in your house, but don't try it on more than one browser because they do track the IP addresses. And if they see that your IP address pops up twice, even though it's on two different browsers, I don't think they're just gonna work. I don't think it's gonna kick you out. I think it's just not even gonna like go through the splash page for you. So just try on every single device, iPad, iPhone, laptop, computer, desktop, whatever it is, try it all. But now the way that I get all my V2s and I have succeeded every single time except the Black Friday releases, because this was just dumb limited. I don't even know how they were that limited. Damn, I got zero pairs of those, now that I realize that. They were pretty limited. But yeah, I got these five for retail from Champs, Foot Action, and Foot Locker. You have to use the app, guys. You have to use the app, it's a must. Without the app, your chances go down a lot. I don't know why, but I just always succeed for some reason getting these shoes. And I'm telling you guys, if you guys really do try and you guys do what I tell you to do, you're definitely gonna raise your chances in getting Yeezys for retail. And not only was I able to get my pair, but I was able to get a few pairs and resell and make my money back. Not even make my money back. I was able to get my pair for basically free and still have cash on top. So I basically made free profit. Like the zebras right here, I was able to get three pairs. I still have two pairs sitting. Gonna wait on them for like a while until the price go up because I know they're gonna go up and then I'm gonna make that cash boy the breads i think i was only able to get two or three pairs my pair and then i got one extra one or two extra ones i don't remember i think it might have been just i only got two in total because i remember going to sneaker con i bought mine and then i sold my other one at sneaker con and then i was done i didn't even sell one through ghost so yeah i think that's it the belugas i was only able to get one pair because i didn't know how to use the app at first since this was the first v2 ever if i'm not mistaken yeah it was the first v2 ever and i didn't know how to use the app so the only one I really had like a big account in was Foot Locker and Champs and Foot Action I didn't. I just always went to Foot Locker to buy my shoes so I had like a good reputation there. That's the only reason I was able to, able to get these. But I was still able to get three of them with bots. You can use bots if you want but like I said this video is not about bots anymore. This video is about how to get them for retail manually and 
the easiest way. But I'm pretty sure I've had a reputation with champs and foot action at the moment. I would definitely would have got three pairs. Maybe not three, maybe two. These right here, the Oreos, I was able to get three pairs as well. Pretty easy to get. I think it was, yes, it was three. I remember going on a trip. My boy picked them up for me. I got three pairs. And I'm telling you guys, it works almost every time I get more than one pair. I mean, every time I have got more than one pair. Except this one, because you know, I already told you the story. The cream whites, of course, I got three pairs. Those were too easy. You guys know how much quantity there was. It was ridiculous. There was a lot of them. The way you get them is you have to have the highest account with each of these three stores. Champs, Foot Locker, and Foot Action. You have to be a Gold Star Club member with Foot Action. You got to be a Platinum VIP with Champs and Foot Locker. And in order to become a Gold Star Club member or a Platinum VIP member, you have to spend $300 in each of those stores. But you have to make sure when you spend those $300, you have to spend them on your account. Like when you go to pay for stuff, you have to make sure that they put it on your account. So let's say you're in the app, you gotta go here down in the right corner, it says my Star Club card, you tap on that, and then this comes up. And then when you're going to check out after you're gonna pay $300, you make sure they scan that, or else you're not gonna get the points. You need to get the points and the money in your account. So then once you hit 300, you do become a Gold Star Club member or a Platinum VIP. Same thing with all the other apps. Look, right here, my VIP card, you tap on it, there it is, and then Champs as well, you go in the corner, tap on it, there it is. They're all in the corner. Make sure they scan that or else you're not gonna get the points. So after you spent $300, you gotta wait a few days. I think you're gonna have to wait three days and then you're gonna become a platinum or a gold star club member. But here's the thing, when you spend those $300, it doesn't matter what it is. Preferably let it be shoes. Let it be some really expensive shoes because in the end you're gonna return them. You wanna do this like two or three weeks before the release date of a Yeezy. So I think the next one's gonna be in October coming for the V2 Belugas. I don't even know what you wanna call them. Like it's the second version of the Belugas. They're really weird. So three to four weeks before that release date, you wanna go ahead, spend those $300, buy whatever shoes, doesn't matter what they are, but make sure they're shoes actually, because if you're gonna buy clothes and you're gonna go return clothes, like you're gonna return a bunch of clothes and they're gonna look at you like, what the hell? So you rather just return big shoes, like big items real quick. So three to four weeks, you're gonna spend $300, you're gonna get the account, and then you're gonna have the VIP. Off rip, you're already gonna have a nine minute head start. To get a 10 minute head start, all you gotta do is go to one of the stores listed on the reservation list, whatever store you reserved at, go to those, check in, and then that's it. You have a 10 minute head start, it's that simple. And after that, all you gotta do is wait and if you end up getting the shoes make sure when you go to check out again when you go to buy them at the store to make, make sure they scan your card again or they give, ask you for your phone number so those points do go to you as well and then you can go return the other one or two shoes that you bought to get your account to 300 i'm pretty sure it's gonna be two shoes because there's no shoes in that store that cost like 300 dollars so you're gonna have to return two shoes and now your account's probably gonna be like a 220 or whatever but now what you can do if you want to get your account up and stay at 300 you can buy some clothes make sure you spend 80 dollars on clothes because the yeezys are 220 but if you don't even want to spend that money right then and there you can wait until the next easy release and then buy another pair of shoes and then your account will be at 300. This time you only need to buy one because your account's already at 220. So you just need to buy like one pair of shoes or something that's at least $80. And then your account's gonna be at 300. And then you just repeat the process. And once you have two shoes on that account, then you can go ahead and return that other pair of shoes. And then at this point, your account's gonna be permanently over $300. You're gonna have spent $440 on just two pairs of Yeezys. That's if you succeed twice. And after that, you're good for 12 months because whatever money you spend is only gonna show for 12 months. So that's a good part about all this. And this is definitely a way you guys can succeed and increase your chances to get Yeezys as you guys can see right there. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We're trying to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of August, which is coming up right now. And also, before I go, I do gotta give a shout out to the fan of the day. And today's fan of the day is Sneaker Heat. I will see you on Sunday at Sneaker Games Miami, as you said in the comments, because I will be there. So if you guys will be there, let me know in the comments down below. I wanna know who's going. And if you are gonna be there and you don't wanna say that you're going, then just come through, say what's up. You already know. I like it when y'all come up to me. It's pretty fun. Y'all are fun to talk to. Y'all are funny too, I'm not gonna lie. Y'all show mad love, especially at Soul Fest. Thank you guys. By the way, I don't think I'll have a video up tomorrow because I am going to orientation and I don't have time to record and edit because I have so much other things to do right now. Like this video is already getting really long and I have to edit it and upload it pretty soon because I got other things to do. So I hope you guys can bear with me on that. I will have basically like a sneaker games vlog coming on Monday since I will be there Sunday and you guys can see that on my other channel. And also I will probably have like some sneaker video or sneaker prank, something for this channel on Monday as well. So you guys stay tuned for that. Anyways guys, make sure you stay woke. It's your boy, our sneakers signing out.